Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog, another week. I have an appointment, I have a client coming in 20 minutes, probably more like 15. I thought it was more like half an hour, so this isn't gonna work. But I wanna do my own nails. I need to do them. They needed a fill last week and I ended up just painting over them. So they definitely, desperately need a fill. I might start filing right now and then just finish it up later because I do have a little break later too that really isn't big enough to do anything with but could probably at least get the product on. That would be something. Um, these are four weeks old now, so they're fine at the moment, but another week and they're gonna be terrible. Um, also, my link tree or my Instagram, no, my Amazon link is down below for my store and I've just totally revamped my Amazon store. It's affiliate links, but if you go down and look through my Amazon store, I have it split up into personal stuff, salon stuff, salon decor, nail art stuff, and press on nail things. So I have separate little categories there for you to be able to look at. And I also included, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it, but I also included the um, La Roche Posay, and I think I already told you about this probably in the last vlog, but I actually used it this morning. It's La Roche Posay and Thelios tinted SPF 50. So it's an actual SPF that's tinted, not like a BB that's got SPF in it. Does that make sense? Anyway, I know that I'm like backlit and whatever, not backlit, but you get it. Um, I really like it. It feels really good. Like I still feel moisturized. I used a new moisturizer this morning as well underneath of it. So if something goes wrong, I have no idea which one is gonna irritate me, but it's not like, it's really good. Um, I haven't, I think we all have started wearing a little less makeup, maybe through like the masks and stuff. Um, but yeah, that sunscreen, love it. And it was on a sale, but it's also linked in the personal stuff as well as like the Amazon joggers um, that I wear. Love them. Um, this t-shirt isn't there, but maybe it could be. I bought this locally, but anyway. Okay, I'm gonna keep going on my nails. Talk later. Before my next time comes, that I said I was gonna do in the last vlog is cut up the towels, the sheets, whatever that I use to wipe my acrylic brush on. And they are the expert touch table towels. So I get them and I usually cut up like half the package at a time. And I ran out. And I'm also nearly out of gloves, which I have lots at home. So I need to remember to bring those. Sometimes that's the hardest part is remembering to bring stuff from home, like that I have stored there. So I'm just gonna do the six sheets for right now because I don't have a lot of time. No real measurements here, I just eyeball them. So because of that, some of them are a little bit. Okay, that's done. I am just gonna watch a little bit of YouTube before my client gets here and then I'll be ready for her when she walks in. Okay guys, really quick before my client gets here, I have been playing around still with the Magpie um, pigments. I get the concept, but I was just struggling to just be able to get them to blend well. So I tried three separate ways. I used the um, Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat, which has a tack use the luminary matte top coat which is called empower which is no tack and i use the glitter bells no wipe top coat which is no tack the ugly duckling one i threw out because it was not good the other two i'm gonna try to show you not that it matters i guess but the other two went really well oh 
that's my Valentina. The other two went really well. They blended really well. That was just one coat of the baby pigment. I would have really liked to have done two, but again, I'm kind of in a time crunch here. But I just wanted to let you know in this vlog right here and now that I just did this and it worked and I'm really freaking happy about that. It's so funny. I can paint a portrait on the nails given the time and the right nail art brushes and a really good black liner. That ombre kills me every single time when I'm not doing it with acrylic. I can do it with acrylic with my eyes closed, but doing it with acrylic is not sustainable because then the next time I'm taking it back off and sometimes you don't get the proper adhesion with the really opaque colors and on and on and on and on. But doing it with pigment has something that's always eluded me. It's just, to me, it's just not fun. Why would you do that? But it's working out this time with this product and I'm really enjoying that and that's all I had to say. So right now I'm doing another chore that I feel like we don't end up having to do very often. Sorry, I'm a little close. I'm like leaning against the wall. Those wall sits. There we go, we'll turn them into wall sits. Washing makeup brushes because of pigments. So now that I'm using pigments more, I already have one done. I'm using these brushes more and they just hold the pigment like crazy. So now, added to the job, <laughs> added to the cleaning, is makeup brushes. One more thing. I'm curious if anybody brings their can opener from home every once in a while to the salon. really cool that I'm gonna be doing later on but I'm gonna show you the beginning of it so that that is my lime tree and as you guys have all seen that is my plant window I'm gonna take a couple of the plant window plants home and the lime tree is gonna live here and I cannot wait to see how it all comes together the only thing that I want to change which I'm not doing today but I will do it at some point I'll bring some white paint and just paint that flower pot because I really don't like the tan color that it is like not that I mind the tan color but it just doesn't go so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing and I'm super excited to see how it all kind of comes together over there okay so here we go with the plant purge I am going to take everything off of there, set it, use my table, set it on my table, like this, and wipe down the window ledge really well. I've just kind of spot wiped it um, in the past little bit, so I'm going to wipe it down really well, and then rearrange the plants. If that interests you, come with me. And what I decided to do was take home these two umbrella plants and whatever that is. I'm not sure. I'm going to take these guys home, hopefully repot them and maybe get them to grow. This one is just not as happy as it could be. So I'm going to kind of place them in a different place and I think they'll be fine. So like I said, I don't know what this is. You guys might. It's really dusty. I'm not really sure at all. It could probably use a new pot as well and the dust. But yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm gonna set these aside, clean up, um, and sanitize my desk again, and get ready for my next client and get something to eat because it's like 20 after two and I still haven't had lunch yet, so I'm a bit hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll give you a little tour of the nail plant window with the new addition of the lime tree. And I found a flower on it, which I didn't realize was there, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, so let's take a look. I also repotted this succulent. I'm hoping it does okay. And this succulent is starting to grow, like starting to do whatever they do. It's getting a little tall thing on it. 
And this guy's losing all of its leaves right now. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. So that's it for the plant tour. I'm gonna go get something to eat, but I wanted to let you know to either, uh, like right before this video, there's going to be a video launched today that is to do with the new Instagram changes. So if that's something that you um, think that is going to apply to you, even if you're not a nail tech, it's obviously geared towards nail techs and like salon workers. Uh, however, it's Instagram changes. It, it applies to everybody with an Instagram account. So if that's something that you want to go check out, please do so. It should be right under this video.